I'm checking on mom's dinner, I thought I'd show, give the opportunity to show you these beautiful ramekins. Hi, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make a very traditional Russian dessert, a plumamousse with plums. It's a plum stew. Anyway, I wanted to show you these beautiful stoneware ramekins from fromrussia.com. Make sure you check them out. This one's just a little bit larger and more decorative than this one. This one's going to hold my dessert tonight and this one's for some borscht tonight, but I wanted to show you that. They're oven safe, they're dishwasher safe, they're fantastic to use. They keep in so much flavor. I'm so excited. That's going to go back in the oven in a second as soon as I show you this. Now, pluma mousse. I have about five plums already chopped up in quarters. Now you can use fresh or you can use frozen. These happen to come right off the tree in our backyard. About one tablespoon of raisins. You can use golden ones or you can use sultanas. Next, I'm going to sprinkle about a tablespoon and a half of sugar over top of this. Mom's feeling under the weather tonight, so I thought I'd Perk her up with some borscht and some pluma mousse. Comforts of home. Then I'm gonna top it up with liquid. I'm using tea tonight mixed with some water, a little bit more water. And if you need more, add more. My oven is preheated to 375 degrees. I'm gonna throw it on this cookie sheet with the other ramekin and in it goes for about 45 minutes and then we're gonna taste it. Now this pluma mousse looks fabulous. It's been going for about 40 minutes. Now I have about a tablespoon of cornstarch and cold water, about another tablespoon. And I'm just gonna pour that on top. Don't overfill it. This is slurry is gonna help thicken up the juices in this. This is the whole point. Stir it up. Lid back on, back in for another 10 minutes. All right, this bad boy's done. I let it go for the last 10 minutes with the lid off just to get rid of some of that extra liquid. Serve it with the lid on or off. Look at my fabulous plums and those plumped up raisins. Make sure you re-season to taste. Um, with sugar, okay? Check out from Russia.com for stoneware clay pots like this and as well as other awesome things. I hope you check me out, Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com. That's how you make a lovely Russian pluma mousse, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously.